So you guys are probably watching this video thinking, well, can I change my coolant from one to the other? And the answer is yes and no. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. If you're new to the channel, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Go back, check out the old videos. But for now, we'll get right into this one. We're going to be talking about coolant, engine coolant. If you've been following the channel, or if you want to go back and check out the other videos, my car was low on coolant, and Ford itself does not make the coolant that my car takes anymore. It is a 2019, fairly new car still. But I will go over what exactly Ford did and how they go about all their stuff. So I'll flip you around, show you what I'm talking about, and then go over some of the do's and don'ts if you're changing or topping up or anything to do with coolant. Just a little heads up of what you should look for. All right, so I know this is a Ford video. This goes over all Fords, but for my demonstration purposes, is my 2019 Mustang GT here. It's a 2019, ordered it in September of 2018, arrived in December. So it does have, if you come up here, you can look in the coolant tank. It has what Ford calls their orange coolant. It is more of like a pinky rose color, but for them, they call it orange. I believe it was from 2011 to 2018 they used this coolant. Mine is a 2019, but what Ford did was the very end, I believe 20, what would it be? I think it was October or November. It was literally a couple months after I bought my car. Ford, for whatever reason, changes their coolant once in a while, and they went to a more, it's like a lime green. I believe they call it yellow, but it looks more like a really bright, lime green and that's why when you see some videos online possibly of people with 2019 either mustangs gt gt350 or the gt500 now they have a different coolant and through the tank like i said it looks green so the issue that most of you might have is what ford does is when they come out with their new coolant is they discontinue the old one so Mine, like I said the, a couple videos back, was really low. It seems to be holding now. What I believe it was, it was just had some really stupid hot days here, and I did end up bringing my car to the track one of those days. So I'm pretty sure it just got so hot, it ended up blowing it out the sides. And sorry about that. Of course, every time you try to film, somebody's coming by and blowing leaves around outside. So, like I said, car got so hot, I believe the coolant just... You know, engine was so hot, everything was so hot, it just blew out the overflow. And once everything cooled back down, it was, I don't know, about a liter, maybe a liter short. I know the little box or the little coolant tank here looks pretty small, but it holds a lot more in there than you think. Plus whatever's in the lines, the engine, everything. So it does hold more than you believe. But like I said, I went to Ford, said, hey, I need some coolant for my car. We're now in 2021, almost 2022, so because Ford swapped that out end of 2018, of course, it does not exist anymore. Saying that, you can get knockoff brands. Ford uses Motorcraft. You can go to like a, a car performance shop or anywhere, even Walmart sells this stuff once in a while, and you can get knockoff brand orange, but... Like me, I like to stick with the Ford stuff for that kind of thing anyway. So you either have to upgrade, like we're talking about now, or if you're lucky, they might have one or two bottles left over and you can grab one of those. So that brings us to the topic of this video. Like I said, I went into Ford, said, hey, I need some of the orange coolant. They said, tough luck, doesn't exist anymore, but you can use the new stuff, which you can see yellow it's called yellow now i know before the older vehicles they have green a different kind of yellow than a light green 
I believe there was even like a pink and a blue, depending what vehicle you were driving at the time. But you can mix this because it's the new coolant. Who knows what's different in there? But the new coolant you can mix with the orange. So you can mix yellow and orange without having to drain the whole system and flush it out and do all that. So if you're like me and you have a newer vehicle, you can grab the newer coolant that Ford will sell you and you can just fill it right up. You can see I put about a liter in there. I don't know if it really shows on here. You can see we're right about here filled up. It was up around that area when it was new. So I did pour quite a bit in, but you can just mix them. No issues, no worries. Saying that if you really want, maybe you want the new color or whatever, or you're changing out a bunch of stuff anyway, it's going to drain. You can also just flush the whole system and fill it up completely with the new stuff. Now, if you're watching this and you happen to have an older vehicle, Ford does have charts. Just Google Ford engine coolant, go to images. They have a bunch of different charts. You can go back. It goes like Ford, Lincoln, Mercury, goes all the way back, depending what you have. And it will tell you one, you can either replace only with what's in there, which means obviously you got to go to aftermarket brands Two, you can replace it, but you have to flush the system. You can't mix and match them. And three, like mine, fill it up, mix it, change it all out, do whatever you want. It's not going to hurt the engine. And the reason you got to watch that stuff is because whatever they have in there, some of it's for corrosion. It's just the upgrade for the life of it, the quality, how well it works, how long it lasts, all that. And you don't want to be throwing the wrong coolant in your car, possibly eating away stuff that, you know, chemicals are harsh nowadays. You don't want to put stuff in your car that might last a day or two and eat itself out. So just keep all that in mind. But like I said, I'll put one of the links down. It's got most of the cars on there. I believe it's only up to 2012. I couldn't find the newer ones, but if I can find them, I'll link them all down below. And then they do have a 2018 and up chart, but that is only for Ford specifically. It doesn't have Lincoln or anything like that on there. And if you're watching this and you don't own a Ford vehicle, I'm sure, like I said, Google it, look for your vehicle, find out what coolant you have in yours specifically first, see what's out there. If you're lucky, the other companies will still make it. If not, just don't mix and match without double checking first. And then finally, if you're watching this, I can't exactly show you, but if you're wanting to just drain your entire coolant out of the vehicle, there's usually on one side or the other of the radiator will be a little plug or a screw. Undo it, let it drain. It'll empty out all the lines and most of it, not all of it, most of it, whatever gravity feeds down will go out. Obviously your tank can come off, whatever's left in there you can just dump out clean it out, put the new stuff in. If you're really, really picky and you have a vehicle where they want you to change everything around, you have to get water, distilled water, fill it up, run the car. It'll go through like a dishwasher, basically clean everything out. Same thing. Open the plug in the bottom, let her all drain out, plug back in, fill it up. Once again, run the water through there, let it all drain or wash out, plug again, drain it out and just keep doing that over and over until the water that's coming out the bottom is obviously not pink or green or yellow or whatever color coolant you had in there. Then you know she's good to go. Drain out the water once again, plug back in, find the coolant that's going to work for your engine, fill her up, let it run, make sure there's no air and stuff in the system. It is a little bit of a pain in the butt. They do make some fancy attachments what will go on the lid here you basically pour your coolant in and as the engine and everything needs to suck the coolant in it will let it go into the tank without sucking in air and all that to get in the system because if you get air in the system like anything it's not going to work so there you have it guys hopefully i kind of sort of helped you out here i know having only one vehicle and not really actually doing anything with it is hard it's just talking 
But if you're looking for the charts and you just need a little how to or what to do, hopefully this helped you out. Just follow the instructions. It'll tell you right on the bottom. You'll have space. If it shows two different coolants, you can mix those two. If it's just the one, you got to use the one. And worst case, go to your dealership, whether it be Ford, Chevy, Dodge, whoever you got, and just ask them if it's all right to mix or match or swap or drain or whatever you got to do. So like I said, hopefully this helped you out. If you made it this far, thumbs up and subscribe, and hopefully we catch you guys in the next video. And if anybody made it this far in the video and you want to see this stuff in action, just stay tuned because I actually ordered this little guy. It's a new coolant tank, the Mishimoto coolant tank for the car, just to get rid of that ugly plastic thing. Not going to install it quite yet because I got one more idea to go with this. So make sure you stay tuned. You don't want to miss out. It should be pretty cool. Make it one of a kind and should make the car pop like I like to do. So yeah, we will be topping it up with this, I'm sure, when we're done. But for now, thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe if you made it this far, and we'll catch you in the next one.